Hi, in this video we're going to review the Shark Rotator Powered Lift Away model ZU632, and that's this guy right here. It's very similar in some ways to the older but still available Shark Rotator NV752. In this review we'll look at the features, um, we'll run it through some tests, we'll compare it also to the older uh, NV752. We'll see what's different and maybe if this is an improvement or not. So what do you get when you buy your ZU632? Well, we've got it laid out here. And as you can see, it's a fairly simple package. This is a pet multi-tool. It's got stiff bristles here, good for digging up ground in dirt, that kind of thing. But this uh, bristled face can actually come off. There's a button on the top, it's labeled release. You press on this and the whole face comes off and you have an upholstery tool. This is good maybe for pulling up pet hair and upholstery, that kind of thing. And this face just clicks right back on. This is a crevice tool, fairly straightforward, and of course you get a quick start guide and an owner's manual. We brought the NV752 out, and that's this guy right here. I think you can see that the body styles of the vacuums are quite similar. Um, probably the easiest way to tell them apart is that uh, the NV752 is like a burgundy color and the ZU632 is a kind of a deeper blue. Now there's a lot of uh, similarities between the two vacuums and there are some differences, but we're going to start with the similarities and walk through some of those features. The controls on the handle are identical. This is the NV752 here. You've got your power on off. These are your floor settings. Um, at the top here is thick carpet and then you've got low pile carpet and hard floors. Uh, the handle's comfortable. It's nice that this stuff is accessible, fairly accessible with your thumb. Um, this is the uh, ZU632, uh, identical setup. Both machines have the powered lift away feature and that allows you to take this portion of the vacuum off and carry it in one hand while using the uh, hose handle and a tool with the other hand. You can also use the hose handle and wand if you want to, put a tool on the end of the wand. Um, now I'll show you how that works. There's a big lift away button here. We can press down on that and you can see this whole assembly comes up. Now I can take the handle off. And let's put a tool on the end of the handle. This is the crevice tool. So you can see I can hold this and walk around. Of course, I'm still tethered by the power cord, but I can do handheld kind of cleaning. Now, I should say there are a couple of different kinds of lift away. These units have powered lift away, and that means there is power to the end of the handle. If you have a powered tool with a motor, it will run. It'll also run if you put it on the end of the uh, wand here. Um, now, Shark also makes some vacuums that are just called Lift Away. Uh, lift Away does not have power to the end of the handle or the end of the wand. These machines are very versatile and effectively have three cleaning configurations. First configuration being as an upright, as you'd expect. Secondly, you can take the Lift Away pod and you're holding it in one hand while you're using the rest of the machine like this, and you can see you've taken all that bulk away from down here on the wand, and you can get this under really, really low furniture. It's very handy. Now, as we showed in our last clip, you also have the ability to use this kind of as a handheld, where you're carrying this in one hand, and you're using this with a tool, likely, in the other hand. The hose on these units is quite short. It does stretch, but uh, we found you only get somewhere between about four and a half or six feet of stretch before it tends to pull the vacuum over. Now, uh, you know, the short hose on something like this is a bit of a double-edged sword. Um, it's actually good if you're using the lift away feature. You don't really want a long loopy hose when you're using the lift away, but if you're going to use the hose like I'm doing right here, um, it's not going to give you a lot of cleaning reach. The dust canisters on these units are the same size. We find them large enough that you don't have to empty them too frequently when you're vacuuming. They have a capacity of 0.88 quarts. They operate in exactly the same way. There's a dust cup release latch here. You just pull that up, comes off, very easy. A button on the front opens up the bottom door here. Sometimes you'll find some stuff gets stuck in there. You may have to put your hand in and pull a few things out. It closes up and it reattaches. It's a very easy system, works really well. The filtration system on each vacuum is the same. You've got two pre-motor filters and one post-motor filter. The post-motor filter is a HEPA filter, so that's nice. All of the filters can be uh, rinsed in water when they're dirty. Um, they're all easily accessible as well. I'll show you quickly here. 
uh, on this EU632. Take away the dust canister. Here we have the foam filter. Under that is a felt filter. Again, both rinsable and water. Now your HEPA filter sits under here. There's a latch. This comes off and this is your HEPA filter. Again, rinsable in water. So it's fairly easy uh, filter maintenance with these units. Both vacuums have a sealed system, and that means that all the air entering the vacuum is forced through all of those filters before it's exhausted from the machine. You do not get unfiltered air leaking out through uh, poor seals or cracks in the vacuum body. The cleaner heads on these vacuums are very different, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But one thing in common that they have is they both have headlights. So if we turn the vacuum on, you see the headlights there, and I'll turn it on here. Same thing. Now we're going to highlight some of the key differences between the two vacuum cleaners, and we're going to start with the length of the power cord. In the NV752 over here, we have a 30-foot power cord. The ZU632, we've got a 25-foot power cord. Why they decided to cut five feet off the power cord, I don't know. Were they trying to save a little bit of money, or maybe they're trying to save a little bit of vacuum weight? I'm not sure, but uh, we've always found a 30-foot power cord is pretty good. It uh, gives you a respectable uh, cleaning reach. Um, 25 feet, in our opinion, is sometimes a little short in a larger cleaning area. You may find yourself uh, running out of cleaning reach and having to search around for the next power outlet. One of the main differences between these vacuums is the cleaner head. We've taken both of them off here and we've kind of upended them and we've taken the uh, bottom panels off so we can get a good look inside. Uh, this is the NV752, this is the ZU632. In the NV752 over here, you can see a fairly standard uh, traditional brush roll with uh, stiff bristles. And the ZU632 doesn't look very standard at all. You still have some bristles, but you've got these rather odd blade looking devices. In addition, uh, further back in the cleaner head itself is a comb like device that these bristles and blades pass through. Uh, this is designed to strip off uh, thread, hair, um, string, anything like that. So it ensures very limited tangling. And the NV752 does not have that feature. Actually, a little later on in this um, video, we will do a test with hair, and you should, should be able to see the difference in how these um, cleaner heads work. We talked previously about the vacuum handles and how they're very similar. They have all the same controls, same basic shape. Um, you've got power at the end here, but you know, the handles are not identical. In the NV752 here, there's a spotlight and that turns on when you're using a tool. So we put a tool on the end here. We turn the vacuum on. And you can see that that's going to light up the area that you're cleaning. It's especially useful if you're cleaning in a dimly lit area. Now, on the ZU632, they did not put that feature. So the handles, while very similar, are not identical. Over the years, we have noticed that Sharp changes the tool set that comes with some of their vacuum cleaners. Uh, we got our NV752 here a number of years ago, and it came with a ton of tools. Uh, our understanding is that currently it only comes with three. Having said that, three tools is still more tools than you get with your ZU632. As we saw earlier, the ZU632 comes with these two. Our understanding is that the NV752 comes with these two as well as a motorized tool like this. Now, uh, we have also read that some people aren't getting the motorized tool, but they're getting something maybe a little more like this, which is a turbo tool. It doesn't have a motor in it. Uh, it has a brush roll, but it's spun off of vacuum suction. I'd suggest you check with the retailer carefully to determine which tool you're going to get. While the controls on the handles of these two machines are essentially the same, they don't necessarily result in the same behavior of the machine. Now, what I mean by that is, um, in hard floor mode on your ZU632 here, the brush roll continues to spin. Now, it spins slower than it does when you're on carpet, but it spins nevertheless. Over here on the NV752, when you're in hard floor mode, well, that turns the brush roll off completely. So when you're cleaning a hard floor, you're relying entirely on suction with the NV752. With the ZU632, well, you're still relying some 
you're relying on suction, but you've also got the brush roll spinning, which helps with pickup. Now, we're actually going to show these um, in operation a little later in the video when we do some cleaning tests. So let's talk weight. The NV752 is listed as 16.7 pounds. The ZU632, 16.2 pounds. So this unit here is a half a pound lighter. Now, as an aside, we have seen the NV752 listed as 15.6 pounds, and that was typically in the past. I don't know why there's a difference, but you know, the power cord on that unit weighs about a pound, so perhaps in the past they weighed it without a power cord. I don't know. All I know is 16.7 and 16.2, well, those weights include the power cords. We did a noise level test with a noise level meter between the two machines. Um, we determined peak decibels over a 10 second period. Uh, the units were run on this, this low pile carpet here and we engaged the brush roll. Uh, the ZU632 came in at 77.4 uh, decibels and the NV752 at 75.2 decibels. Now you don't necessarily need a machine to tell you this one was louder, it's, it's fairly audible. I believe that some of that, or maybe all of it, has to do with the uh, Zero M technology down here in the cleaner head. It uh, just seems to be a little louder and creates a little bit of a higher pitched whine. Having said all that, it's still not crazy loud, it's, it's fairly tolerable. We find the NV752, however, to be fairly quiet for an upright. In terms of movement, both machines move about the same on a hard surface, but on carpet, we find the NV752 moves a little bit easier. Once you get that brush roll spinning, it tends to pull the vacuum along. Now, it'll fight you a little bit on the way back, but not much. The ZU632, well, that brush roll spinning doesn't seem to really pull the machine forward. Um, so movement is a little bit more laborious. It's still not bad, but if you're on carpet, the NV752 is a little bit easier. Now we're going to look at some cleaning tests, and we're going to start with a hard floor test, which in our case is tile. Now, what we did was create our own debris. Uh, we measured out a very specific amount of ground up Cheerios, flax seeds, chili flakes, split green peas. We have a sensitive scale here that we use. That was laid out in about a five foot long um, line. Each vacuum was passed over it in about a 10 second pass, and the percentage pickup by weight was determined. Now, of course, in this case, the machines were put on hard floor mode. And uh, let's take a look at that run. So we've got the results of those tests in this table. I should mention that we run the test twice and the figures here are averages. Um, so you can see the ZU632 on a bare floor, 99.2% pickup, which is quite good. The NV752, 97.8, it's not quite as good. Um, I think the ZU632 pickup was better because it still has that spinning brush roll in hard floor mode. Uh, that really does help with the pickup, the NV752, while the brush rolls off in hard floor mode. Now, one thing about that is, um, you know, on some delicate flooring, you may not want a spinning brush roll. That's something to consider. Now we'll do the same test on this low pile carpet, and we'll show you one of the runs. I think you could see in those last clips that the ZU632 didn't pick up quite as well on our low pile carpet here as the NV752 did. We've got the results in the table. ZU632 on carpet, 98.5% pickup. NV752, 
99.6% pickup. So the NV752 was a little bit better. We did a test on hair to determine just how well this 0M technology works. We laid down short white pet hair, long black human hair, ran each vacuum over it, and then we inspected the brush rolls. I think it's fairly apparent from that last clip that the 0M technology does work. Now it's not perfect, but it does a reasonable job. Now we're going to show an edge cleaning test. We put a bunch of chili flakes where the carpet meets the wall and we ran each vacuum up tight against the wall. We've run many vacuums through that particular edge cleaning test over the years, and in our opinion, both of these vacuums perform fairly well. We've always liked the NV752, and the ZU632 is a very similar machine, and they're both fairly good vacuum cleaners. We've shown the similarities between the two, we've highlighted a lot of the differences, and we've even done some cleaning tests, but I think the big question is, which vacuum cleaner is the right one for you? If you have mostly carpet and little to no pet hair to deal with, then the NV752 here is a good choice. It moves well on carpet, pickup is good on carpet, and you don't really need that 0M technology. If you have mostly carpet and a fair amount of hair to deal with, well, then it's something of a toss-up between the two vacuums. The NV752 is very good on carpet, and it has a few other advantages. We found it was a little quieter. You do get that extra tool, has a longer power cord, and there's a spotlight on the handle, but you don't have 0M technology, which means there's gonna be more tangling in that brush roll and more brush roll maintenance. The ZU632, on the other hand, it does have the 0M technology, so you're not gonna to have to uh, you know, clean the brush roll as frequently, but it may not be as good on carpet as the NV752, and maybe it doesn't have some of the other smaller advantages. If it was my choice, I'd probably still get the ZU632 because I don't like doing that brush roll maintenance, but again, it is something of a toss-up. If you have mostly hard floors, we like the ZU632. In our test on our tile, it showed better pickup than the NV752, and of course you do have the 0M technology should you need it. Now, there is one caveat, and that is that the ZU632 has a spinning brush roll in hard floor mode. And if you have very delicate flooring, you might not want a spinning brush roll. In some cases, you could get scratching. Now, the NV752 does not have a spinning brush roll in hard floor mode. So if you have delicate flooring, hmm, NV752 might be the best choice. So we've seen some features of the ZU632. We've seen how well it performs in a number of our cleaning tests, and we've compared it to another popular machine, the Shark NV752. I really hope you found this review useful, and thank you very much for watching.